Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to Baking with Success. Today we're going to be making a decorative wafer cookie. And these have a name in French called a tui. And in French it means roof tile. They're very thin. And what happens is they're very unique. When they come out of the oven, the cookies are very flexible. And only when they're warm. But as they cool, they set. So you can shape them into any way you want and they can elevate any dessert to a new level and they will make your dessert so spectacular looking you won't believe it. Let's start making our twees, our twills. So I have two egg whites uh, in a mixer. You can even do this by hand. I have the paddle attachment on. I'm going to put them on about medium speed and I'm going to add half a cup of what's known as super fine sugar. And this is sugar that's super fine. It's actually been put through a machine that makes it even more fine than granulated sugar. You can find it in any grocery store. A lot of bartenders use it too to make sugar syrups for drinks. Now I'm going to let that go till it gets nice and foamy and I'll show you what that looks like when it's ready. Okay, let me show you. So you can see that. Okay, just nice and foamy. You don't want to beat too much air into it. I'm going to turn it on again. This time you want it on relatively low speed. So you're going to be putting in half a cup of all-purpose flour. Just dump that all in. When that gets incorporated, you want to add Two, uh, one and a half tablespoons of heavy cream with a little bit, maybe about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Use pure vanilla extract because it tastes so much better. Put that right in there. And two and a half tablespoons of melted butter. Right in. That's your batter. S simple, easy peasy. And we're just going to rotate around to get all the ingredients blended in so they, sometimes they go on the side. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. You're just going to let that go for a while. Your batter should almost look like the consistency of heavy cream. It's very thin. So you see how this looks? Very, very thin. Almost like a thin pancake batter. You see that? That's what it should look like. And it should be nice and smooth. All right? So now we're ready to shape our twills. So our twill batter is ready, but I would like to kick it up a notch. So I'm going to take a teaspoon of cocoa powder. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. I've put it in a bowl, and I'm going to take about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of batter, and I'm going to put it in with the cocoa powder. And this is going to give me a contrasting batter. So this will be like a chocolate batter that I can use as a decorative aspect to my wafer cookies. And if you don't want to use cocoa powder or you don't like cocoa, you can actually just use food coloring and make this any color you want. So once we have that, that's it. I'm going to take a pastry tip, a small plain pastry tip, and I'm going to put it in a pastry bag and I'm going to fill this with my contrasting cocoa batter. And I'm going to put it in a cup so it doesn't leak out. This is just going to get it ready so we can do our decorative work after. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to leave it in this cup until we're ready to go. So I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to take a large sheet pan and I'm going to turn it upside down. That's right, upside down. And I'm going to put a silicone baking mat on the, t on the top of it. And this is going to prevent our twills from sticking and it's going to make them very easy to take off. And you can get these anywhere in any baked goods. Sometimes you can even get them in the grocery store. Now, I have ordered this online, uh, but you can get any shape you want. This is known as a twill mold uh, or a stencil, and you can even make your own. But I'm going to put this on here. I want to show you how to make spoons, and I'm not going to cover this whole thing. There's a lot of spoons on here. I'm going to take a little bit of my batter, and I'm going to put it on top. And I'm going to take an offset spatula like this, 
and I'm going to spread it. Push your spoon batter down. We're only going to make a few. And you're going to get it almost like you're spackling. Uh, and you're going to take the excess batter off. And when we have two, we're just going to have two of them. We're not going to fill that one in. I can fill that one in a little bit. Let's see if I can do that. You want to actually fill the stencil so it's completely filled in. There should be no cracks uh, or any uh, coverings that are not, not uh, covered. And you're going to gently peel it off. And you can see you have spoons, the mold of the spoons left on the silipat mat. Now I'm going to decorate it. So I'm going to take my chocolate batter. And you can decide what you want to do. You can make anything you want on here. Um, sometimes I just like to make it simple, like keep it simple, stupid. So just on the edge, I'll just make like a little dot or a couple of dots. Sometimes I'll just make a little ripple. Just stop it. Just make it simple. Let's do another three dots. And now you're ready for the oven. Now it's going to go in for three to six minutes. May take even a few more minutes, but you want to get these so they're light brown. You don't want them to get too dark. And you're going to put them in the middle rack. Here I go. OK, my tweels have come out of the oven. It's been about six to nine minutes. And I'm going to, if you notice, they're very malleable. You see that? Whee! Malleable. And I'm going to take two spoons. I'm going to put one spoon down, the other spoon on top of it, and I'm just going to push. And I'm going to let that cool. And you're going to see that that is going to look like a real spoon when we're done. And you do the rest uh, the same way. So you take this out. You see how that looks like a real spoon? It's even got the little kink in it like a real spoon does. And just do that with every one of them. And you can even have a few sets of spoons. But hold on to it. It's a little hot. So I think I have Teflon fingers by now. And you want to keep it till, you don't have to keep it till it's ice cold, but you do want to keep it till it's molded very nicely and it's sort of hard, hardened a little bit. You see that? Really cool. And you're going to do the same with the last one. That's why you don't want to make too many tweels at once. I always make about maybe uh, four to five, uh, three to six. I don't make that many at once because eventually once they harden, what do you do? Well, you can do something. You put them right back in the oven for another 30 seconds or so, and they become pliable again and flexible. And you take them out, and then you can just redo this. So it really does work well. See that? Wait till you see what we're going to do next. OK, let's have some fun. My next stencil is going to be these long stick-like things. And we're only going to make a few. So again, you take some batter. And I'll show you what we're going to do with these. This is going to be so cool. All right, just take a little bit. And if you notice, we only made a little bit of batter, but it really goes a long way. So we're just going to make maybe one or two. And remember, smear it like you're spreading cream cheese on a bagel. Then you're going to take the excess off. But it's got to really be covering the whole thing. OK, no holes, no air gaps. Okay, when you're ready, peel it off. That's it. Now we're going to decorate. So I'm going to make curly cues or corkscrews out of these. These are great on ice cream or to decorate a cake. So what I like to do is let's make some stripes. So I'm just going to go straight down with my cocoa batter. And again, you can do anything you want. You can even write someone's name in this. You can do anything you want. Anything goes. Polka dots, little circles, curly cues, fleur de lis, anything you want. And I'm serious, it's only limited by your imagination. OK, now, over here, let's just do some polka dots. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. We're just going to go around. And you can see it looks like they popped up like little Hershey's Kisses, but they'll bake right into the batter. All right? Ready for the oven again. 
Tweels came out. They're ready to go. And they're malleable. Again, see how sort of snaky they are? I have a dowel rod, and I'm going to take this on the dowel rod, and I'm going to rotate it like a coil. So it almost looks like a curlicue or a, a, a pig's tail, if you want. Uh, that's, what, that's what I like to call it. And just let it set till it gets uh, cool enough that it firms up, and then you can start your other one. If you have a few dowel rods, you can do different ones. Sometimes I just take a wooden spoon handle, but when you take it off, it should just look like that. Look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. And you want to put it aside. Now I'm going to take my polka dotted one. These can be so much fun to make. Uh, and yes, it is a little warm. And my hands are, are a little warm, but it's not burning or anything. So uh, very cool. And we're going to just let this get a little bit cooler. And then you can just slide it off. And there's enough butter in the batter. You don't even have to spray this with uh, nonstick cooking spray or anything. So you see that? Look at what we made. Look at these gorgeous curly cues or pig's tails. They're delicious. And they're still a little malleable, so I'm going to let them set. They're going to get nice and crispy. All right, now we're really going to have some fun, as if we haven't been having fun before. I'm going to make a bowl. And this bowl can hold ice cream, chocolate mousse, uh, anything you want, jello for, uh, for all anyone cares. And what you're going to do is you don't even need a stencil for this. You're just going to take couple of tablespoons maybe, depending on how big you want them. And then you're going to take your offset spatula and you're going to make rounds, maybe five or six inches around. And you're going to rotate your sheet pan. And they shouldn't be too, too thin, but they shouldn't be too uh, thick either because you want them to bake through. See how I'm just sort of swirling it around? And that's one. And then you're going to take your other one. And they're not going to blend into each other, so don't worry about that, even if they got a little closer. And again, I wouldn't do more than two or three at once, unless you want to make them really, really small. You don't even have to shape these into bowls. You could just leave them as big rounds. And I've done that before, too, and just put like a big round twill cookie coming out of a, a piece of chocolate cake and just wow your guests, because they just, people go nuts when they see them. I've, I've, I've caused riots when people see these. It's unbelievable. Now, this is what I really love to do. Take your contrasting dough or your batter, and I just like to do a little, sort of like a little scrolly thing around. This is so pretty. Just go around. The other thing you can do, which I've also done, is make the name of all your guests and make these into place cards. That's a lot of fun, too. So now I'm just going to go around like this to make something different. Remember, keep it simple. And now we're ready for the oven. That's it. The tweels just came out. And you can see they're very malleable. I'm going to take this hot tweel and put it over. I'm actually going to put it this way. And I'm just going to put my hands down so it gets sort of loop-de-loops sort of around. So it gets, and just let it, uh, let it harden there. I'm going to take the other one. I'm going to do the same thing, flip it upside down so that your decoration will show. If it is too hot for you, you can always take a paper towel and put it down and hold the paper towel down because uh, you don't want to burn yourself. I'm used to it already. I don't even feel it. But you can burn yourself, so be careful. So once these cool, these are going to be like little cups. And you can put ice cream or anything you want in them. Look how pretty that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Here's the other one. They're still flexible, so I'm not going to touch them too much because I really want them to get hard. But aren't these stunning? Wait till I show you the whole gang together. Look at the possibilities. Look at what we did with this super simple decorative wafer cookie. Um, we made these beautiful bowls. We made these gorgeous spoons that you could just eat with. And we made these beautiful curlicues. And they are just really making this really simple ice cream dessert to a whole new level. It's elevating it. Try this recipe. You will not be disappointed. 
Go to my website, Baking with Success with Chef Gail Sokol for this recipe and many, many more. And I have a blog, I have tips. You can even write to me. Until next time, take care.